Hey, it's Joe Leisman Automator, and this is a script that we had rewritten in V2. I wrote this years ago at TI, and it's really cool. If you ever have a list of, um, like, let's say email addresses or part numbers or something, and you have more than one list, and you're like, okay, well, how many are in A list, and how many are in B, and how many are in both? And it's not a simple thing to do in Excel. It can take quite a while to, like, piece through that. And even when you do, then it's you're like, okay, well, which ones are in A and B, and, and keeping track of all that. So... This is a simple script. Let me uh, switch over to it here. Uh, let me minimize this. Now, um, the V1 version of this did basically the same thing, but we added some cool functionality uh, into it. So right now, it takes these two lists. So here's a list A, list B. I run it, and you can see this is what's in list A, this is in list B, and this is what's in both. So these are only these are the items that are only in list A. So seven is in both here and here, and notice that like here, there's this one is has an uppercase S and this one doesn't. So it's in both because we didn't do a case sensitive search. But if I turn on case sensitive and rerun it, um, now seven actually stays independent of each other, right? And also notice six, even though six is same case, um, it has padding around it, and sometimes you want to trim the white space, and so that trims it out, right? So now what you can do is, uh, depending on which list you want, if I want this list, I can hit Control shift a so Control shift a and this shows me here is what now is on my clipboard, or Control shift b gives me the blue ones. So I use these colors because red and blue, what does that make? So Control shift c it makes purple, and that's what's in both. So even though this list, you only can visibly see, what, maybe 50 or so in each one, I've done this with thousands of ID, you know, different things. So it can take a lot more than what's in this list. So you just put it in here, you have a nice visual, but the important thing is you can hit the hotkey to get that actual list and the accounts of the items in case you wanted the counts, right? But super fast, super easy thing to do. Um, so it's a great one. I'll put the URL up here to go grab that. You can study the script if you're interested in learning how we did it. It's basic, basic GUIs with list views um, comparing. It got a little more complicated when we took care of the case sensitivity and the trimming. But yeah, it's, it's a great fun script. Um, we still use it pretty regularly when we're trying to see, you know, like for email addresses, who's in one list and not the other, you know, and remove. Like let's say if I want to email um, prospects, but I want to remove hero members because I want to do an email to people that are thinking a lot to be hero members. Well, a lot of the hero members will already be in that list because of how I'm targeting, because that's what makes them good prospects. Well, I'd want to remove those, right? So this is something like that is an example of it. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. We get a lot more views that way. We're the largest auto hockey channel out there. Um, we have videos right now three times a week, and we're constantly releasing tools. Um, if you can donate when you, if you grab this download, uh, it's much appreciated, but it's not required if you can't afford it. It's fine. Cheers. Have a great day.